Sasquatch want to come see her, and they're they're standing like they're standing like this. There's two of them. They're standing like this, and I can see them step forward. You can see them move like this, right? Right. Step forward. Step forward. They're moving like this, right? And I know that they want to come see Ashley, so uh, I look at her. I go. I go. So how you feeling? Are you calm? She's and she's scared, right? Because she hears all this stuff going on. So they did a little test. I go, okay, you ready? She goes, what do you mean? Bah, 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 bah. A grouse was right. Just came out of nowhere, was right there, and she went, ah! <laughs> and I looked at him, and I went, she's not ready. Right? Like, she jumped, right? Because it was so tense. Like, you could feel them there, right? So she jumped, and as soon as I said, they're not ready, I saw this. Just like that. And then they just moved off. Not today. Right? Because they were totally intent on her. Right. And then they were mind speaking us later, and they told us why. They've been watching her since she was a little girl. Like a long time. So, and they're going to prove it to her. They're going to show her that she was actually, since she was a little girl, she was meant to do this stuff. Like even, even myself, that's what I was taught yesterday is I've been, it's, it's, it's a place that I have to fall into, right? Like when I'm looking at these tree breaks on the way in, those tree breaks were for me to come there. The structure was for me to see, right? And I had to kind of accept that because I'm always trying to figure out what the story is, what the story was me. I was, well, I found it. I was supposed to be there. Literally when you walk in, there's two big tree breaks that you walk between. They wanted me to walk in between they wanted me to walk under this arch and go to the structure and learn this information right so it's i think with every single person that desire in you why you're here they do that like but you're part of a universal connection right and that desire for all of us to do this is your place and i don't know how long you've been feeling it but you know i'm starting to see it since i was little and i don't think anybody more than her so since she was a little girl, she was feeling this stuff. She'd go in the wilderness. She'd feel like somebody was watching her, right? And they've been grooming us because they knew this was coming. You know, you guys understand this is, this is, so we left the Sasquatch and now we have to come back together, right? And another thing that I've learned too is they're scared. Can you imagine being a Sasquatch man? You love this land and they're aping it and they're coming and they're destroying it and the darkness is there and people are so confused. We're so lost, right? And they need us to bring it back, right? All of us, we have to come back. We're going to lose. There's no, there's no future in all this technology and the gas and all this shit that we do. Industry, is, there's no future in it. Nature is the future and we're raping it and destroying it and they're terrified. Tree breaks are all over the world, guys. They're trying to talk to people and people are not listening. They're getting ignored. Imagine you made those tree breaks. There's one thing I know. Those tree breaks are for us. When people come along and cut them and don't give two shits about them, how do you think they feel? Yeah. Like I'm talking to you and you're not listening. I showed him. I made him do a tree break yesterday. Mm -hmm. And just on like a, what is it, two inch tree? Yeah. And it took a lot of reason they're being done and it's not natural. Mm -hmm. well, Sasquatch do them. Like I'm, I'm way beyond that, right? So, and, and now I have to go back out into the world and really start manifesting. I have to take my place and do what I'm supposed to do, right? We all do, right? Because if we don't stand up, it's, it's, a, it's a war, guys. It's a war against the destruction of our whole planet. Like you got, you got to know, like as bad as you think it is, it's worse. We're raping the oceans. We're destroying the land. It's so bad. We're pestilence, right? And the darkness is like kicking ass. And but it has to get so bad before it comes back, right? So and they see all this. They see it as a darkness, right? And they're just they're they're fighting so hard to communicate. So and I, I learned so much yesterday. You just the, the ultimate lesson that I learned though is you got to be what you're supposed to be. Like do it. Like grab it. Like stop denying it. Get your head out of your ass. Stop sleeping and do it. Go home, meditate, mind speak, get up to that next level. So I was literally, I had my eyes closed and I could see. I, I never, I was never able to do that before. I'm like, I'm, I'm moving around and they're teaching me stuff with my hands. I'm able to see and move around. I'm like, what the hell? This is amazing. The, the sensory perception of telepathy is the most powerful sensory perception, period. You get to see things as energy. You can't be fooled anymore. And that's, is that not awakening? Yeah. You're trying to hear and smell things. If I can feel, I'd be like, yeah, there's a bear over there. Oh, there's some squirrels. You can do that. That's real. That's telepathy. That's what it is. Science accepts it. So we've got to accept it. These are living organisms, these trees, right? So you got to feel that energy and they're all connected. And we can just, we can, we can tap into that. It's almost like Avatar, right? Or is it just like Avatar, right? We can tap into that network and you have to have a sense of urgency because we can't, John Bernard lost. John Green lost.
right? They lost. They didn't do it. What were they missing? Telepathy, mind speak, right? Can't lose anymore. So we got to win this battle, guys. So it's really important. And we I were talking about that yesterday with the tree breaks. Like the trees are living. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the protectors of the forest. These tree breaks <coughs> have to be significant, mm -hmm. at least in our opinion. I think we kind of yeah. came to that mm -hmm. for them to do it. Because they're damaging, they're sacrificing basically killing life. trees. You get it. Yeah. They're sacrificing a life. Yeah. Now you're getting to the heart and soul of it, right? Like, this is so important. He's going to die to show you. And then you don't see it. You just cut him down and you treat it like it's a piece of shit, you know? So the Sasquatch don't see things like that. It was that, that last thing that I learned. <coughs> was such a story. He just went, <coughs> right? And we're hearing I, that over here. Those first couple nights. And I actually, I actually saw it. There's no wind. I saw him. I'm looking at him. And right out of the corner of my eyes, I just see him, <coughs> He kind of he kind of gave me a look, not a smile, but he gave me a look. He's like, "That's what I wanted." That's because we're all they're pulling for us to win. We have to win, right? Even even I got this. There is no plan B. You win or everything loses. It's that serious, guys. So, if you love humanity, you love life, you love the wilderness. This is this is the fight for it. So, it's the last shot because things are going to get that bad. We have to move quickly. So. I'm gonna start meditating so much more. I'm gonna start accepting my role and what I have to do. And so I'm telling people to do the same. Everybody has a place. There's no, there's no, we, we've got to all come together, right? Through cooperation is the most powerful thing. That's, that's what's making me so strong because I cooperate with people. I, you, you, you tell me you're bashing me, whatever, you want to forgive me? I make mistakes. I've been an asshole. I forgive you, right? Because if we sit there and we, we, we argue, that's darkness, right? If we just say, I just forgive you. It feels good to be forgiven. Hey, I forgive you 100% because now you're starting to see. And this that's why I'm starting to win people over. I see that all, hey, Todd, how come you're just winning these people over? Because they just keep telling the truth, right? Maybe you don't like my personality. Maybe I'm not a uh, you know, celebrity kind of guy, but, but I am telling the truth. And this does matter. And I am very passionate about it. So what we experienced yesterday was absolutely mind-blowing. So... And the Sasquatch want that for all of us. You just got, got you also got to get out of this mindset of like, you know, I need a photo, I need a video. That's not, that's not what this is about. So I know, I know it's, it's helpful and it's, it's, it would be a great thing to have that, but got to have the right mindset. I'm just starting to clear it myself. It's confusing yeah. me a little bit, but for me, it's not so much as getting a video or a photo. I, I just want to see that full upright to get the, the feel of how large they really are.